He's not. A, he doesn't. Call, that's a problem with the kid. He doesn't cause a problem. He just. He didn't belong there. Okay. He didn't belong no. in the clerk's office. He didn't belong there. What? Because you just don't like to be filmed. Objection on your memory. I'm gonna hold out. You never told him, Mr. Reyes, leave. You don't have a pass. He's very repetitive talking. That may be. So am I. But on that day, on the 15th of July, 2021... To avoid this just getting out of hand, he's going to end up suing everybody. You're no, offering sir. it for the truth. I'm offering for the effect on the listener, Yarn, to How try so? it. I'm going to tell you. Now's a good time. The only thing that separates her conduct with Mr. Reyes on July 21st and June 10th, 2021 is Mr. Janusa. Yeah. yeah, but he's not, like I said, if he would go down there and start kicking garbage cans and throwing shit out, I'd be great because I'd pound on him and lock him up, but, but I can't do that. And he's not that type of kid. He's very cordial. He's very cordial. He's very polite. Okay, he's but why does well. he have to film that? Um, on Friday, I think we left off with a question 
uh, about some interaction that occurred in your office that involved Mr. Janusa and Mr. Reyes and yourself. And I think we're, the last question might have been uh, pertaining to Mr. Janusa. So just for the record, he's the security guard, correct? It was on. And I think my question, or question I wanted to ask was, um, was, was Mr. Janusa getting loud in the office on the, on the 15th, you know, 2021? Objection relevance. Uh, I will I will allow it, but certainly for the record, you know that I've seen I've seen the full video. I've seen everything Attorney Mr. Jewish has said on, uh, on the video. I am you know, I'm able to recollect what he said, how he appeared. So I appreciate it. what she thinks is not relevant to my final decision. But if it's an introductory part of the question, you can get to a separate inquiry. I'll allow. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go quickly, but just for the record, there's a relationship between where the things are said and what's being. I will allow it. It's kind of Thank you. Right. So uh, Phil was getting loud in the office when he was uh, interacting with Mr. Reyes on the 15th of July, 2021. Correct. At the end. Okay, but he was loud at some point. At some point. Okay, and um, did he disturb any of your customers that day? Phil, objection. How would she know that? Oh, she can observe. I can reformulate the question if you want. Well, how is, how is, Mr. Cruz is not on trial here. How is whether or not he, uh, well, alarm the customers have anything to do with what this case is? I don't want to disclose my strategy, but it's so weak, I'll disclose it anyway, <laughs> Judge. Um, you can't just simply thrust somebody into a loud, boisterous, and annoying conversation if you're a public official and then hang it on the guy who gets arrested. So my point is the video... You say it was, a, it, was a, it was a partnership. Correct, and, and it was precipitated by conversations that were started, and therefore it goes directly to the creating public disturbance. Okay. Uh, I will allow for that purpose, man. Thank you. Ask a question. Are we able to observe any of your customers getting uh, annoyed or alarmed when Mr. Janusa got loud? I didn't see them. Do you recall anybody at the counter turning their head when Mr. Janusa was raising his voice telling Mr. Reyes, hey, you don't understand what she's saying, you have to get out of here? Do you remember that? I saw one individual. Okay, and that individual was uh, reacting to the uh, loudness of Mr. Janusa, is that correct? Projection, how do you know how she Exactly. Yes, she knows. That goes down. You just made the, You just try to make the point. It's a partnership, right? Yes. So now you're trying to pin that on one no. guy. What you said, you should you. be doing. Did you observe anybody turn their head after Mr. Janusa was loud in the office? Nothing specifically. Okay. And I think that uh, you asked some questions before about where Mr. Reyes' camera was when when you were speaking with him. Do you remember those questions? Yes when he was talking to you. Um, and where was this camera? In front of his face. Okay, and, and I think you thought that was rude, correct? I did. Why? Because we want to have a conversation with someone and you speak to them directly. Well, he was filming, wasn't he? Yes, but he could lower it. So you wanted him to lower the camera while he was filming in the town hall because you thought that was rude, correct? I did. There's no policy that permits you to prohibit somebody from filming because you think they're rude, correct? I didn't ask That's that. That's right, you know. The sustained objection. Was it the location of his camera that you took offense to? Not specifically. Okay. Um, what about um, with respect to concerns about filming? in the office. Uh, did he ever shove the camera in your face? In my face? Yeah. No. Did he shove the camera in Mr. Janusa's face? No. And did you ever observe Mr. Reyes raise his camera over his head and point it over the counter? I don't recall. Now, one of the things that you did was join Phil Janusa in blocking Mr. Reyes's camera, correct? Not specifically his camera. Okay. Um, do you recall putting your hands in front of Mr. Reyes' camera? My hand was there, to, not specifically for the camera. Well, what was it there specifically for then? For his presence, so he couldn't move forward. 
so you were blocking him from moving forward with your hands, okay? And did part of that have to do with you blocking his camera view as well? It would, because it was in his face. Okay. Um, so part of the policy, I think, includes if somebody takes an issue with not being able to film, that they're free to contact the city attorney and ask any questions. Isn't that what the policy says? Yes. And did you tell Mr. Reyes at any time, sir, if you have an issue with this, go talk to the state attorney, go talk to the uh, city attorney. Did you give him that option? Yes or no, but it's a longer answer than that. If you can answer, but, uh, I'd have to say no. And I think your earlier testimony was, Mr. Ju uh, pardon me, Mr. Ray has never made it to the county, correct? Oh. So when the policy uh, that we've seen in Exhibit Two and Five, I believe, um, when it says there's no filming that should occur at the counter, that wasn't your concern, right? Because he never made it to the counter. No, he wasn't supposed to be there. Okay. So basically, he's not supposed to be there, and he's filming, and for that reason, you tell him, hey, you have to leave. Pretty much. Correct? Basically, because he didn't have any business in his office. Okay. Um, he, did, he did ask you about some FOIA requests, correct? Correct. And there was some disagreement as to whether or not the clerk's office had such FOIA requests. You were telling him that he didn't, that he didn't have them, and he disagreed with you, correct? Correct. Did he do so in a loud and boisterous manner? Objection on that, Your Honor. This is directly to the state speech for itself. I don't want to open with objection a lot of questions. I can't tell because I don't know how he speaks normally. Okay. Um, one of the things that you said was that he didn't have a form, a visitor form, that concerned you, correct? And on July 15th, the form that you were concerned about him not having, what did it look like? It's a visitor pass. So it's not a form, it's a visitor pass? It's a visitor pass. Okay. And the policy, however, talks about a form, correct? If you know. I just know it's a visitor. To me, it was a visitor pass. Okay. So we didn't have a visitor. And when you say visitor pass, are you talking about one of those big uh, red things that says visitor? It looks sort of like one of those, you know, those no trusting, trespassing signs you buy in Home Depot, but only it's red and says visitor on it? Yes. Is that what you're talking about? And did all the other people in your office that day have visitor passes? Yes, because they had to sign in and get one because we had a limit on how many individuals were allowed in our office. Okay, so just, just to be clear, um, do you have any recollection or did you have any personal observation that everybody in your office that day had a, who was required to have one, had a visitor pass? Yes, because we would ask them if they had one. I'm asking you, ma'am, not a general uh, rule. I'm asking you, do you have any recollection, recollection, were you involved in determining whether or not people that visited your office on that day had visitor passes? I'm not always in the front office. So that's a no, correct? I don't know at what point, I, if I was there or if I wasn't there, I don't recall. That may be. Um, your recollection as you sit here today, were you involved in checking people that came into your office for those big visitor passes, the red ones? When I'm in the front office, yes. Okay, did you do it with everybody in the office at the time Mr. Reyes was in there or shortly before that? I don't, I don't recollect how long I was in the front office. Okay. Mm -hmm. On this day, mm -hmm. do you remember anyone else besides Mr. Reyes not having a visitor pass? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm just going to uh, take exhibit two and five if I can. the other policy of the Danbury's. I think it's... Oh, okay, now you've seen these before. I'm just going to place before you their full exhibit would be uh, State's Exhibit and Advisory 2 and 
Exhibit 5, correct? Now, I noticed that the uh, Exhibit 5 doesn't contain the seal of Danbury on the top of it, correct? Correct. So, how do you know that the policy that's contained in Exhibit 5 is an actual policy from the City of Danbury? This policy is for generated by the administration. Do you know who generated it? Well, they usually had front, uh, had email with attachments, and these were attachments. There, there's no effective date on Exhibit 5, correct? Correct. So do you have any uh, information as you sit here today uh, to confirm uh, the date upon which that particular policy in Exhibit 5 was actually enforced? Not without the front. Yeah. In front of you, but you don't have it, and you don't recall the date yourself. Yeah. And then, with the same thing with respect to the other exhibit, Exhibit Two. Take a look at Exhibit Two, the policy with the city seal on top of it. It says there's a, in the second bullet point there. I just draw your thing. May I approach you? Here, I think it says with respect to filming. That's the third. A paragraph under the uh, red lettering in this exhibit that talks about filming. It says that the uh, the city basically it's a it's a it's a rule pertaining to filming. Would you agree with me on that? The second bullet point. Yes, under the under the uh, under that section. <coughs> yes. And. It says persons filming otherwise engaging in activity other than accessing a business office may do so upon notification to the security guard on duty and may thereafter conduct such activity respectfully in the public hallways and foyers. Correct? Correct. Okay, um, with respect to notification of the security guard, did Mr. Reyes, to your knowledge, notify the security guard that he was going to be filming? Objection to the foundation. If you know. If you know, man. I do not know. Okay. And with respect to the uh, exhibit, again, the exhibit uh, five, do you know whether uh, the language in that section was ever supplemented by another policy? If you know, if you don't know, you can go through it. We had so many. We had so many. <laughs> And, and, and I can understand, a little confusing. I'm going to just draw your attention to uh, both Exhibit 5 and Exhibit 2. And in Exhibit 5, the same language that's contained in Exhibit 2 that we just spoke about pertaining to filming, it begins, the city reserves the right to prohibit or limit such activity. Do you remember that language in Exhibit uh, 2? Uh, in Exhibit 2 is the one with the seal on it. Oh, please. Could you repeat the question? Yes, ma'am. I have the wrong one. Uh, it's, it's my fault. Um, in, in Exhibit 2, two. drawing your uh, attention to that under the uh, filming part of the, of the policy there, mm -hmm. there's a sentence that begins, the city reserves the right to prohibit or limit such activity. And can you continue on from there? Where concerns exist involving disruption of public safety or where the city and home building needs a policy is more appropriate. Okay, correct. And then in exhibit five, is that the same is that the same policy case? Because your, your testimony that's the same policy as the one with the seal on it, exhibit five and two. Addition is in Exhibit Five, unlike in Exhibit Two, there's some language there that states where overriding need or concerns exist involving disruption of public safety. Correct? Yeah, that's yes, ma'am. In, in in Exhibit Five, the difference in the language is the words overriding need. Correct? That would be the third paragraph, end of the first sentence. That states for business visit. 
It says the city reserves the right to prohibit or limit such activity where overriding need or concerns exist involving disruption. Correct? And that's different than the language in the policy that's been introduced in Exhibit 2, correct? Yes. That language isn't there, correct? Correct. So can you tell by those two policies which came first? Not without referring to anything else. Okay. And did you refer to those emails on the day that Mr. Reyes came to your office when you were enforcing the policy? Would it depend on what policy was in effect at that point? It's a good point. Do you know which one was in effect that day? I can't now without seeing it. Could you, could you determine that on the 15th of July? I would have. Did you? Well, when I spoke of it, those were because I knew which policies were in effect at that point. And which policy was in effect? I can't refer to that now. Okay, what about on the 15th? I would have. And you would have. Mm -hmm. You would have done a lot of things, I understand. And my question is, did you do that on the 15th of July? Did you determine which policy was in effect then? As I stated, I would have had that policy would have been the one that was present at that point. And which one was present at that point? Well, I can tell you right now because I don't have the email that's preferred. Okay, so you don't know now, correct, which one was in place. And you didn't check your email on July 15th before the interaction with Mr. Reyes, correct? Objection, that's a compound question. So say, did you check your email with respect to the effective dates of any policies that were in effect the day Mr. Reyes came into your office on July 15th? Objection, that's the answer. Let's have the answer for once and for all. Did you check the email to determine which one was effective? I would have known on a given day what policy was in effect on that day. That's been her answer. That's her answer. On that specific day, how did you know? Because we received regular emails from the mayor's office and HR on what policies were in effect. But your earlier testimony was that the way to determine the effective date, the only way you could do that was to check your email. That was your earlier testimony, wasn't it? I'm just arguing that I have an objection. That question has been asked and answered, but she is asking you if that was your prior testimony. You said you had to check your emails to know which policy was in effect on any given day. Yes, it does. Okay. That's her answer. Thank you. And then, again, with respect to the policy contained in Exhibit 5, I'm sorry, just one moment, Judge. And, yeah, with Exhibit 5, it says anyone filming in the second paragraph, anyone filming otherwise engaging activity other than accessing the business office of the building may do so upon notification of the security guard on duty and complete a visitor form. Do you see that line, Jim, on the policy that may have been effective on the day of July 15th? That would be Exhibit 5, the white one without the seal. Second paragraph, the end of the second sentence, beginning of the third sentence. And your question is? My question is, do you see the language where it says and completes a visitor form? Mm-hmm. Okay. What does a visitor form refer to? I would interpret that that they signed in properly downstairs and were given a visitor pass. Okay, so? I think they interact form the pass. Fair enough. But on those big visitor passes, like the no trespassing size, 8 1⁄2 by 11, they're red, correct? Mm-hmm. And do they contain any place where you can write anything on them? No. They don't have anything. Yeah. And do they contain any information that would allow you to confirm whether somebody signed in downstairs? What confirmed it was they wouldn't have one because they were kept in a Pendiflex file and they were not given one until they signed in. So it would be your testimony that anybody who was in town hall that day must have signed in if they've had a visitor's pass, correct? Correct. And would it be your testimony if they didn't sign in, they wouldn't have a visitor's pass? Correct. Okay. And the words are different in Exhibit 5 from Exhibit 2 with respect to that, right? If you go back to that second bullet point, 
It just says, I'm referring to Exhibit 2, upon notification to the security guard on duty and may thereafter conduct activity respectfully. Do you remember that language? Mm -hmm. And there's no mention of the form there, correct? These would have been posted in offices after they had already been downstairs. Well, yeah, I'm going to cut that. that I'm going to ask you to see question specifically. There's no mention of the, word of, of the form. There's no mention of the form in that particular part of the policy. That's all the question. And, and, and ma'am, wasn't Mr. Janusa's problem with not letting Mr. Reyes up the stairs on the 20th of June because he didn't have a form? Or no, pardon me, let me rephrase it. On, on July 15th, 2021, wasn't Mr. Janusa's problem with Mr. Reyes, not that he didn't sign in because he got upstairs, wasn't his problem that he didn't fill out a form? Objection. If you know, I'm just sustaining objection. It's irrelevant what she thinks is problem. Okay. Um, do you know what the form looked like on July 20th, or July 15th, 2021? Objection asked and answered. Sustained. Do you know whether the form was something you had to fill out? I didn't ask and answer. To the I don't think so. If you know, if you know. Contracting form and pass, so they're kind of one and the same. So, so that's good. So, your testimony is that reference to a form is the same thing as reference to the pass, or what we refer to as the visitor's pass, the hall pass. No, her testimony is yes. you're interacting the words form and pass. That's, that's why I'm asking her. Are you making the same egregious error that Attorney Seeger's making in assuming that? Form means the same thing as pass. Okay, object to the form. Uh, no. Okay, so then, is there a separate? Is there a form that's separate from the pass, to your knowledge? No. Okay, so they're one and the same thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. about the counter in your office and about filming over the counter. Is that fair to say? Yeah. And it's some earlier testimony uh, that pertained to the layout of your office, correct? Okay. Let's have to get some exhibits here. I'm going to take the exhibits back that the witness has. I'm sorry? Yes, yes. Oh. And now I'm showing you what's been marked for identification as Defense Exhibit A. It's not, it's for ID. Just look at my computer. Thank you, turn Is that a, an accurate depiction of the layout of your office as it pertains to the front counter? Yeah, just the counter. Just the counter. Mm -hmm. So, referring just to the counter for the time being, um, do you recognize that to be the counter in your office? Yeah. That the same counter that was in your office on July 15th, 2021? Okay, and, and, and that shows us the height of the counter and the place over which Mr. Reyes is expected not to film, correct? Correct. Okay, Judge, I'll move that in as a full exhibit. Is that here? Let me see if this one. I'm sorry, Your Can't tell the height of the individual. 
And I'm going to object that if the court is going to allow it with that qualification, I'll also note that this is rather cumulative to be part and parcel of the video. I'm going to overrule the objection and allow the remark as a full exhibit for the defense. Thank you, It's a fair and accurate representation of the counter area, specifically uh, the counter area on the entire office. Uh, and this is also with as far as the same, similar to the on the and members, is there a glass partition in your uh, upon your counter when people come up? Is there a glass partition there? Not a full partition, no. Okay. Is there any glass partition or plastic or anything like that? It was a temporary install. Okay. Was that there on the 15th of July, 2021? I remember when installed. Okay. Fair enough. And, and taking a look at full exhibit A, you don't see uh, any signs that say uh, anything about filming or the policies that we have in front of us in Exhibit 2 and 5, are they posted anywhere in that exhibit there? No, my counter. Okay, and they weren't posted on your counter on the 15th, correct? No. Okay. Let me show you what's been pre-marked as Defense Exhibit B, which is a different shot of the counter. Can you take a look at that one? And I think in your earlier testimony, you indicated that when a person comes in through the foyer, your counter extends longer than the distance between the opening of the door and the foyer. It actually goes, if you're looking outside of the foyer, it extends further to the right, correct? To the left. So if you're looking out the door, it would extend to the right. Out if you're looking the in the door, it would go to your left, correct? Reverse than what you're showing? Yes, correct. So that individual is traveling along the counter to the left, correct? Correct. Right. And he's traveling towards the balance of the counter and through a door that gets him behind the counter, correct? Well, it's not the actual Okay, well I'm just asking, is he going in the right direction following along the counter? Is it hard to identification still? Yes, it is. Well, it's fine. I'm confused. I thought she said it's not exactly the way it is. I mean, I don't want to mislead anybody. But that's a fair and accurate description. Ends, ends. This is something a different. But part, the part of the counter that, that that particular photo is showing. That's that's, that's, that's your office, right? This is B. This is different. Yes. Is that a fair and accurate representation is, of that part of the counter? Correct. But not the extension. Yeah. Okay. We can get to the extension, but I'd move it in on that basis, John. You can't tell the height of the counter based on the photo, right? No. No objection. Without understanding. Full exhibit. Thank you, Aaron. And I'm going to show you again uh, what's been marked as uh, Defense Exhibit C. And that's the same gentleman that's walking in Exhibit B, and he's walking towards the door to get behind your counter, correct? Correct. And to the right of him, there's a partition, isn't there? Correct. And do you know how high that partition is? I would only be guessing. If Mr. Reyes stood in front of that partition and had his camera in front of his face, could he film behind the counter from there? Objection foundation. If you know. He had it in front of his face? Yeah. yeah he, could see over he could film right through that wall where the, where the computers are? Yes. And that's a fair and accurate description of the uh, the direction he's traveling in the counter on the on July 15th, correct? Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I didn't put it on that basis. Any objection, Terry Sander? No. Full exhibits. And then Exhibit D, Defense Exhibit D, for ID only at this point, matter. There's a there's a photocopy machine depicted in that picture, and that photocopy machine is across from two computers. Do you notice that? Yes. And that photocopy machine and the computers are part of your office, correct? Is that public space? Is that where people, your customers come in to do work? Yes. And they have to pay for that photocopying to do, right? Yes. Okay, and that's there for the public to use, correct? Yes. Um, I would uh, move it on the same basis. Here. How many of those do we have? Do we show Attorney Zentner all? I, I showed them all. I, showed, I was going to do it all at once, but I showed Attorney Zentner, and I actually, like a busybody, actually marked the exhibits. Do we have objections to the photos coming in as fair and accurate depictions of the, of the office? No. Yeah. They can only mark as full exhibits and you can ask questions from the exhibits. Thank you. That settles the problem with foundation. Thank you.
And then, then I'll, I'll, I mean, it, it, once it's there, then in front of me when I deliberate, I'll be able to see what it is. Thanks, sir. Uh, exhibit E, which was marked for ID, but I believe is coming in as a full exhibit now. Um, that's, a, that's a picture of somebody entering the door to get behind your counter, correct? Correct. And again, we see the computers and the full copy machine in that picture, right? Yeah. So you enter from the public space into the private space to get you behind your counter, correct? Correct. And Mr. Ray has never went behind that counter that day, right? I don't know. <laughs> okay, you wouldn't let him. Fair enough. And then, I'm going to show you what's been marked as Exhibit F. Again, the same gentleman is now through the door at the end of the counter, and he's walking towards the back of your office, correct? Correct. And to his right, what do we see there? There's a refrigerator. Pardon me? There's a refrigerator right there. Okay. And in terms of where he's walking, is he walking in the direction of your desk at that point? There's a, a staff desk. And my office is on the left hand. Okay. Uh, he looks like he's walking towards the back wall, correct? Correct. Right. Okay, fair enough. I'm just going to show you what's been marked as G. And again, that same individual is now passing a printer. And in front of the individual, there's a desk at the back wall, correct? Correct. Right. Mr. Reyes filmed that desk at the back wall to the gentleman's left in that exhibit from is where that, he was in the front. Behind the counter? Yes. She already has testimony that he can get behind the counter. I'm not saying he can get behind the counter. She said the concern was her him filming okay, he, private he, he documents behind from where he was. Correct. So he couldn't film anything on that desk from his position in the foyer that day, could he? Yeah, from where he was. Not that particular desk, no. Okay, fair enough. So we know he can't film that desk. And you don't know that, where this is. That would be her opinion. That would be your opinion. Your opinion is he couldn't film that desk. And you don't recall whether there's any private documents on that particular desk on July 15th, 2021, do you? I have no idea. Pardon? Okay. Fair. And then Exhibit H, just to get the perspective of what's along the back wall, the gentleman passes or is walking in the direction past the first desk at the back wall, and there's yet another desk, correct? Correct. Right. And uh, same question. Um, Mr. Reyes couldn't film that desk from where he was located in the foyer the day that he was encountered by Mr. Janusin and yourself, could he? Not that particular, not the first desk, no. Okay. And what about the second one? You can see it. Okay. Could he film it from there? Could he film private documents on that desk? He could film the computer screen. Okay. I'm asking about private documents. Could he film the private documents? Not if they're flat on the desk, no. And you usually put private documents up on an easel on desks, or are they usually flat it on desks? They could be on the screen. They could be, but the policy doesn't respect computer screens, it respects the documents, correct? Are you Sustained. Let me show you what's been marked as Defense Exhibit I. Draw your attention to that second desk. The computer screens you're talking about Aren't the edges of the computer screen facing the foyer? Which one are you talking about? The one that... Desk number two, you said he could film the computer screen. So you're coming around well, that foyer? I'm... Or you're talking about the foyer that's in yeah, front of it? I want you to be confused, so I'll try my best. Where Mr. Reyes was on the, on the 15th of July, 2021, we know he didn't get up to the counter, so he's somewhere behind in the foyer, correct? Between the opening of the door and the counter. Fair enough? Mm -hmm. So your testimony was that he could have filmed what's on the computer screens on the second desk, even though he probably couldn't get the first desk, correct? Gotcha. That was your testimony? I think the testimony said she stopped him from getting to the I'm not on that. I, we, know, we know where Mr. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not. Oh, well then if you're on that, okay. let me try to so, explain. So the, the prior testimony was he was stopped from getting to the camera. Correct. Right. Your question is, he wasn't able to film from the camera. No, he, my question is, he wasn't able to film from where he was stopped, because he never made it to the counter. Are these his pictures? 
I'm sorry, there's no question pending. I'll have to ask you again. I apologize. Is there any further inquiry? Uh, uh, I will allow that question. Okay, so you said that there was a possibility that Mr. Reyes on the 15th of July, 2021, from where he was located in your office, Mr. Janusa and yourself, could have filmed what's on the computer screen in the second desk at the back wall. That was your testimony, correct? Objection. Here you go. It's speculation. Stay. That does call. I'm asking about a testimony, Your Honor. For the record, was that I'm not getting an answer on that. She just testified to it. Then you, then you have her answer that at that point. That question right now is calling. All of these questions cause for speculation. It's the first speculation objection I've got. I'm okay. Saying. Okay. The computer screens that were in uh, in the on the second desk, the edges of those screens are facing the foyer, correct? That's not answer. Okay. You're familiar with their content or the layout? Well, I didn't ask the question, but if, it's quite, if you're asking to speculate as to whether or not he's able at his height and where he was specifically in the foyer to video behind the counter, it's going to be speculative. Okay. Right. So the edges of the computers on the second desk face the foyer, correct? The foyer that's when you're coming around from this direction. If I come in the front door of your clerk's office and I happen to see the second desk way back at the back wall, I see that one. The, the computer screens, the edge of the computer mm -hmm. screen is what's facing the foyer, correct? That, yes. It's not the flat part of the screen, correct? Not unless they're flexible. flexible. Sure, okay. But um, that's where they face, correct? The edge faces the, uh, the door, correct? When they're not flexible. Uh, do you know whether on the 15th of uh, July 2021, the computer screens on the back desk were flexed? If at all, if you know it all. No, I don't. Okay, so would it be fair to say then that wouldn't have posed any concern to you with respect to filming what's on the computer screen because you didn't even check, correct? Okay. The thing. I'm going to show you what's been marked as Exhibit J. And in that exhibit, you're sitting at a chair at a desk, correct? Correct. And there's a computer in front of you. And it's got a screen, correct? Correct. Yeah, that screen's facing you, correct? You weren't concerned that Mr. Reyes could film what's on a screen, the back of which is facing the foyer on July 15th, 2021, were you? Objection. Goes to concern. It, it's, how is whether or not the conduct of Mr. Reyes was violent of the policy, how is any of these questions Proving that or disproving it? How is it relevant to the inquiry? The open issue is whether or not the conduct of Mr. Reyes on the day in question was violent of the policy. Well, if it was impossible, it would be relevant. Secondly, Ms. Geigler and Mr. Janusa are enforcing the policy for they which we are educated. They've getting to the counter. They've stopped it from getting to the counter. So, how, so with that being said, and I think she said that, how does any inquiry as to whether or not from where he was standing he was able to? get to the counter now, he was stopped before getting to the counter. It's not, uh, just for the record, it's, it's not about him getting, we already know. It's about whether or not he violated the whether policy. By filming the words the policy across the he's counter. not allowed to, to film over the counter. And right. the testimony is that they stopped him from getting to the counter to safeguard him from filming over the counter. Okay. And I know that the, 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 the video tells me that the response is, eyes don't trespass. Right? I, and what I see here is what the camera's picking up. Okay. So how is whether or not he could pick up her speculating whether or not he can pick up information from where he was relevant to whether or not he was in violation or working toward in being in violation of the box? Would I get in trouble if I said do you really want me to answer that question, Your Honor? I want you to continue with your <coughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go by quickly by okay. I'm sure the state's gonna claim at some point that that's what it means that the eyes can't lie is in the First Amendment uh, right that people champion. It's that's filming over the counter. And they tie that up with documents. So again, again. So again um, in Exhibit 5, that shows the perspective of uh, the back desk. And you're on the telephone in that exhibit. And in front of you, if you turned your head to the left, that would be the folder. Right? Yeah, to look far. Yeah. And then uh, exhibit K, same thing. That's a that's a closer shot. 
Um, same direction, you're looking in the same direction. If you turned your head to the left, that would be the direction of the corner. No, if I turn my head straight. Straight, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. And then, let me show you what's been marked as uh, Exhibit L. Uh, do you remember in Exhibit L, you're depicted there on the left-hand side. Uh, do you remember if you were talking to Sergeant Cantor DC on that day? That was the day that you talked to an officer. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. And then Exhibit M, that's the foyer of your office, correct? Yeah. And so if my back was to the counter, I would see at least partially what's depicted in that exhibit, correct? Correct. Right. Okay, do you see any signs on the, on the door in that picture that pertain to filming? Okay, um, you're pointing to a sign in Exhibit M um, talking about what you post on the glass. Is that the filming policy that's posted on the glass in that exhibit? That's fine, I don't recall. So you're saying that at the time of the Exhibit M, you don't recall whether or not that would have been either of the policies that were posted? Can I see the exhibit? The witness pointed in the top left-hand corner for the record um, in response to questionings about posted signs that they, they post signs on the glass, not on the so door. on the glass behind the individual? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, you see two things posted. Yeah. Okay, but you can't read them. From I'm not, I, that's why I'm asking oh. her. Uh, can she recognize them as the policies contained in Exhibit 5 or 2? You know what those papers are in that picture? Which, it shows the post on the opposite side where the camera has the picture. No, the only one I can confirm for sure is the hours. Okay, you know, I would also know on M and N, M is oh, the he can take a second. Well, are you objecting to the question? Does he want to get in the box we, and testify here? No. Enough. I mean, enough. I just want to get this over with. Do you? I so, do. So, so essentially, this is what we're doing. If you object to the question, make an objection. I'm not going to have you go things for the record until you have a redirect. Or if you're making an objection, then you can make an objection. Okay, my objection is this. On defendant's exhibit M is in Mary, and, M, and defendant's exhibit N is in Nancy, there are two different dates on this board. That's all I'm going to You made an objection to that being noted for the record. Oh, noted for the record, oh. and exhibit N isn't in yet. Having asked us with well, the question. Well, they've all, 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 all been marked as full exhibits based upon the court's decision to move along with it. And ma'am, in Exhibit N, you see there's a picture of a gentleman that's going into the front door of the clerk's office. Do you recognize that, ma'am? Yeah. That's Mr. Pinter, correct? Yeah. And there's no signs on the door that day on July 15th, correct? Yeah. Not in one of the policies is posted on the door, correct? Well, I stated I never post on the door. Fair enough. So, so definitely it's not posted on the door. Do you have anything to say about whether it's posted on the glass? I can't tell what's on the glass. That's fine for you. you Thank you, Mr. C. So I'm going to show you what's been marked. There's some earlier testimony that with respect to Exhibit 5, you saw Exhibit 5 on Mr. Genuso's desk in the lobby on July 15th. Do you recall that? I can show you Exhibit 5, ma'am, just to make sure. Your earlier testimony of the Exhibit 5 was on Mr. Janusa's desk on July 15, 2021. That's the full exhibit. Yes. Okay. And uh, you said that it was on his desk and it was facing up. The wording was facing up to the ceiling, correct? Do you recall that? Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you what's been marked as Defense Exhibit O. And that's the picture of Mr. Janusa's desk on July 15, 2021, correct? Now that you know there's a time issue, 
Is there a time stamp on that document, ma'am, on exhibit uh, O? 1059. On what date? 15th. Of July? Of July. 2021, correct? Okay, now as you sit here today, looking at that picture, right, you recognize that as Mr. Janusa's desk on July 15th, 2021. Okay, and you said that the policy in Exhibit 5 was on his desk with the words facing the ceiling, correct? Correct. Okay, can you show me in Exhibit O where the policy was? This is not the angle that we saw it from. Oh, that's fair enough. So you can't see the policy facing upwards with the wording facing the ceiling from Exhibit O, correct? Is that because it's not there, or because you just can't see it? Can't see it. It's a different angle. All right. Let me show you what's been marked as Defense Exhibit P. That's another picture of Mr. Janusa's desk on July 15, 2021, right? Yes. Okay. And can you show me an Exhibit P where Exhibit 5, the policy, is on his desk? Can't see from that angle. Can't see from that angle there. Let me give you the exhibit Q, which is the hole in front of the desk. Can you that? Can you tell me in exhibit Q, man, where the policy is on his desk? It's not from this angle either. So you can't tell from the angle in either exhibit O, P, or Q where the policy was on his desk, correct? Not from what you're showing me. No. Didn't you say before, ma'am, that the policy was on the left side of his desk facing up? Yeah, but from a different angle. Okay. Um, you do that, see that. that. The question, did, did you say that before? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yes, yes. And you'll agree that O, P, and Q do depict the left side of Mr. Janus's desk, correct? Okay. How do you know? I'm not allowed to overrule. Is that a yes or no question? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. You're yes. not going to see it from this angle. Okay. So your testimony is that from those pictures of Mr. Janusa's desk, I cannot, so nobody can see the policy containing Exhibit 5 flat on the desk on the left hand side of Mr. Janusa's. Is that your testimony? There. Um, do you know an angle from which you might be able to see the document where you saw? Yes. Where would that be? I'm thinking from the balcony looking down. Balcony looking down. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking down from the top of the balcony, do you wear glasses, man? No. Um, would you be able to look from the balcony down to recognize the words on that exhibit five? Recognize what it looked like before me. So. Could you read it? Objection. I don't think the testimony is that's where she saw it that day, Jensen. Well, I think that is, but I'll ask her, Jensen. You may be right. You, you, the vantage point from which you saw. I think this, that was the answer to your question. At uh, what angle could you see it? I can ask again. Why don't you ask her? I'm good. That's what I'm going to do. Where it was when she saw I'm it? I'm going to do that right now. Are you saying that on July 15th, 2021, mm -hmm. that you saw that policy from the balcony mm -hmm. on Mr. Judas's desk? Yes, it's in one of your videos. Okay, so you can recognize that policy. And, and where in the video is it? Somebody was standing on top taking the picture, and you can tell that this is the document. Okay, do you know where in the video that's, that's depicted? Probably where they were taking one of the photos. That you had for the 17th and on July 15th. Okay. There. You didn't see this from the balcony, is that your testimony? Or you no. did see it from the balcony? I can Objection. see that. That, that wasn't the I, it's Her testimony, I think, is that she saw it from the balcony. Yeah. So, okay, fair enough. Is that your testimony? You yeah. did that, so when you say you testified to the court that you knew it was on his desk that day, when you saw it, you saw it from above. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And in exhibit, I'm sorry. In exhibit Q, you see the front of Phil's desk, too, right? And there's no policy that we see in exhibit 5 or in exhibit 2 posted on the front of the desk or taped to the front.
front of the desk, correct? Right? No, I don't. Where somebody could see it? I don't see them. Okay. From there. So people would have to be upstairs in the balcony looking down to see the policy on the desk? Objection. Sustained. Sustained, you don't Okay. On, on June 20th, when, well, June 20th, that's the first time you met Mr. Reyes. June 2021, I'm sorry. I don't know that June 20th was the established date. Is it June 10? I'm sorry. Is it June 10? It was June 10. June 10, I'm sorry. Thank you, Council. I appreciate it. On June 10th, 2021, that's the first time you met Mr. Reyes, right? Right. And um, was he filming on that day? I don't know. Was he filming you? No, I believe that's the day I went down and met him. Okay. okay. Uh, when you say you came down and met him, you met him for the purposes of him serving a legal document, putting the city on notice of a lawsuit in favor of I'm going to uh, object because he's outside the scope of the There were no questions explored by the state on the June 10th date. No, but you did play the video in full for the fact finder. So I will allow the inquiry, but certainly that's not the conduct, any conduct from that day is not part of the allegations here with regard to the violation of the Well, I don't think the conduct is, but in so terms of. I'm going to allow you to ask the questions, but certainly. Can we just can we just queue up the video then, Judge, and play it now, subject to your rule, so I can ask, uh, quickly ask the questions after the video. I don't have to ask what's not on the video. Well, could, she's already seen the video. I mean, she's already seen the video. You want to ask her the questions, and if she has not you need to confront her with an inconsistent statement, we'll yeah. do that. I would do that, but you haven't seen this video. Oh, this is a different video. Yeah, you've seen like little snippets oh, of it. The, 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 the last question was about specifically the June. Correct. Plan interaction where yes. she came down. That was the question. Correct. That was, so yes. now, she haven't referenced any other aspect of it. Is this the, the interaction with the officer? Yes. Why don't you yes. kind of set up, ask her a couple of questions about that as foundation so I know where you I think you testified earlier you did speak to an officer um, on June 10th, 2021, correct? I don't know. I'm going to object. The testimony was, if that's the way you asked it, was the July 15th date. Okay, so let me ask it to you this way. On June 10th, do you recall being uh, in front of Mr. Reyes and him asking you to take a legal document and have it filed on June 10th, 2021? Yes, in the lobby. Correct. It was in the lobby of the city hall, correct? Mm -hmm. And prior to that time, do you recall speaking with an officer about what Mr. Reyes wanted to do down in the lobby. Yes. Did you remember whether or not that officer's name was Officer Cantor Mitzi? I don't recall. Okay. We refresh your recollection, ma'am, if I played you a videotape of June 10th that uh, depicts you interacting with that officer and ultimately accepting Mr. Reyes' stock. Do you see here? I'm going to let you play the tape because we've done it for this. For oh, the whoa, 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 whoa. Your question was, do you recall his name? Is that relevant? No, I think, okay, I think we'll so find out. You were asking to an officer on that day? Okay, that's all. You can play it. Thank you. 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 And it will just be subject to the same restriction. Yes, sir. Uh, anyone speaking in the video who's not going to be a witness, that will be, uh, that, that information is here today. It cannot be considered by me in terms of finding the facts, but it's just any, uh, Offering of proof that that is an exception to the hearsay rule, any part of it, I will listen. Peter, you know, is the court inclined to be taking a break for 10 minutes? Because I, I'm going to queue If that's up. what you need to do to queue it up? Yeah, because it's almost. Yes. I would, okay, so it's 410. Yes. How long do you need? Because we're only going until 10 minutes. Is fine. 10 minutes? Five minutes is good. Five. Okay, so why don't we, why don't we plan on 415? If you need more, just let me know. Okay. Okay? okay. And you're still going to go standard reason. All right, of course, not recess. All right, court is back in session. Maybe we can take a stand. Please be seated. It is 
417 will go to about 430. My understanding at this point there is a, there's a new video which has not yet been shown to the court uh, that the defense wishes to offer. That's correct. And just for the record, I believe there was some, because the state played Mr. Reyes's YouTube video, video, sorry, there were some portions of this video very briefly in the lobby. But okay. just, I just don't want to mislead you. You, you yes. want it, and you want to show that? Yes. The market is a full exhibit. Yes, yes, sir. And the same motion. Yes, that's Mark. Oh, that's Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> that would be, uh, I mean, generally speaking, we'll hold up to our quarter returns. Thank you, Madam Clerk. You don't have to stay. He, he's in room. He's not far. That's a heck of a savior, Honor. Well, I think the clerk makes sure right. That's what I'm here for. The good news is that the colors are just right, so I don't mess up it's like the awarding of points between the red and the green yeah, and the, the high school colors. Yeah. Because Prentice is green and Norwalk. Prentice is red and Norwalk's green. So that's why I said to remember. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank concerning the video once it's shown. That's correct, Your Honor. Uh, and, and as I indicated before the recess, the same technique we've been using to expedite things as best we can here. This is a full exhibit with the caveat, anything spoken in the video by someone who does not testify is hearsay, therefore the court will disregard that in finding the facts. However, if there's an offer of proof made that whatever you want to be considered is somehow an exception to hearsay rule, I will hear that at the time. And the purpose, as I indicated earlier in this trial, is that it's an opportunity to expedite versus cutting and pasting and splicing and, uh, as we go. So with that being said, uh, Tracy, here, if you want to take place just now. Keep, just for the court, uh, this is uh, Officer Cantor D.C. who was in the previous video. This is his body cam video of June From 10th. June 10th. From June 10th. Thank, Thank you, sir. So basically, I'm here to serve a uh, notice of intent to sue on um, the town clerk. I was trespassed from the the, the, Which, the library yesterday. Again, uh, that's I understand that was a that was exactly. A, and I talked to a lieutenant yesterday. He was like, "I'm glad they didn't arrest you." You know, because this is what I <laughs> no, I'm just saying. This is this is this right. is what I do. I know what you do. They we were. I don't. I mean, I don't know why you're in Danbury, but yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm just visiting. Because you're a New York resident, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you guys know everything about me, so I don't know why I can't just go upstairs. I mean, that's the first thing I'm dealing with. <laughs> Now, let, me yeah. go, let me take a walk up there and I'll, I'll figure it out. Great, great, great. Oh. Hello. What's going on? How are you? How you doing? Who does he want? That guy? He just yeah. wants to serve a lawsuit on us. So he wants to serve it to uh, whoever gets served lawsuits. Jan. Let me check next door and I'll... The only call. Re he, he's not being a problem, but he's just yeah. not giving us his name. We know who he is. He dealt, okay. with, we dealt with him at the library yesterday. What? I'm having some trouble hearing it. Is there a way to turn it up? I can turn it up. I'm not sure how... Yeah, I, I, I don't think there might be echo yet at any time, but we can try it. Certainly, I was, it wasn't as clear. Yeah. Any nature of body cam. Thank you. Okay, let's try it again. Is gotcha. This is what he does. No, no, he's a citizen. He's a New York resident. This is what the kid does. He goes all over the all over the East Coast and videotapes. You he's know, not the audit guy, is he? Yeah, he is. That's him, Christopher Reyes. He was in Waterbury. Yeah. and he got arrested. He didn't. Yeah, they shouldn't. Have, we should. I mean, he's not doing anything illegal. You know what I mean? He's only right. here to serve papers, I guess, to sue at a police department. But he, but he won't give the security in, right? guard his name. I mean, right. we could, if you want to let him up, do what he's got to do, and then we'll write his name in there when Lots he leaves. Of 
Let me find out next door. I don't door know. Well, I don't know where he's got to go. go. Yeah, I don't know where he's got to go, but. Let me find out. You know what I mean? To avoid this just getting out of hand, he's going to end up suing everybody. He was, uh, did you see the video in Waterbridge? I didn't see the video, but I... He I went up to the mayor. Yeah. And he was like, oh, I got arrested. Yeah. The mayor's like, I'm not the police chief. Yeah. So, I don't have a problem. Like I said, he's a very polite kid. He's not, doesn't raise his voice ever. He's just... We'll be on TikTok. Jesus Christ. We'll be on YouTube. But like I said, it's, he just wants to serve papers, but you know what I mean? I'm, we, like I said, if you have an issue of his name, we know who he is. So if that's the only thing keeping him from doing what he's got to do. the video I do. showed you of the guy auditing O'Leary? Yeah. yeah. Now he's, he's downstairs. downstairs. Oh, really? So, and like I said, he, we, we dealt with him at the library yesterday, and they escorted him out of the library, which they technically they really shouldn't have done, but you know what I mean? He's not a, he doesn't, that's a problem with the kid. He doesn't cause a problem. He's just difficult to deal with. It is Jan. It's the town court, Jan oh. Gabler. Okay. Um, do you want to ask Jan? Listen, all he wants to do is okay with all she wants to do is give papers. He's going to probably record it. Why don't you talk to her? I'll talk we'll to her. Down. She's on the second floor. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know if he'll let me escort him up here. You know, I even have offered that to escort the kid up, but yeah. But I don't think he wants anything to do with us. That's the issue. I mean, yeah, but so, why be so hostile with him? He's not. That's the thing. He's not hostile. He's just um, difficult to deal. He's not. He doesn't raise his voice. He's a polite kid. Okay. You know what I mean? So yeah. he doesn't. He's not going to come in here and start kicking shit around, which I wish he did because then we could lock him up. Right. But he yeah. doesn't do that. You know what I mean? Just so, irritation. Yeah, just enough. Put the kid downstairs. Yeah. All he's here is to is to serve papers that he's suing the city. That's all he's doing. But he's not a state marshal. No, he's not a state marshal, okay. and he's not creating a disturbance. He just won't give the security guard his name. But we know who he is. You do know who he is. Yeah, his name Christopher Reyes. Okay. So if the issue is only his name, then I don't have a problem. Because a kid's well, he's not a, he, come down he's not a violent kid. You know what I mean? Okay. He's not going to start. But it's just that nobody knew when he was just. Yeah. Being... But he's not like I said. If he was go down there and start <laughs> kicking garbage cans and throwing shit out the because I'd, 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 I'd pound on him and lock him up. But, but I can't do that. And he's not that type of kid. He's very cordial. He's very cordial. He's very polite. Okay. He's but why does well. he have to film? That? This is what he does. He's one of these civil activists. He was oh. in water he tried, he's the guy that was in Waterbury. Oh, he filmed the mayor. And, yeah, that's what he did. I'd rather go downstairs and bring him up here. Then if we could do that. Yeah, he's not, like I said, he's not a violent yeah. kid. He's not any threat to anything. You know what I mean? So, so if you want to. <laughs> you know? Yeah, listen. So, I mean, his, his intent is to come up here, so if you want to bring him up, that's fine. No. I don't think he needs to come up. Well, okay. So. And then you can probably ask him if someone can help you down in the okay. elevator after. Sure, I feel like once he has, you know, you know, he's the guy that's Yeah, that's the guy that's Yeah, I know who he is. I can't remember his name. Yeah. But, but. I would, I mean, just if that's going to make him leave. I don't know. I don't know if it will or not. I mean, like I said, he's dead set on, on filing papers, so. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Like I, I said. Know. We got three officers in the lobby, <laughs> so. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd rather than holding. You know, like I said, he's not a he's not a violent kid. So he's dead set on coming up here. If you want to bring him up, he's not a violent so, kid. Because I, 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 I was actually leaving for lunch, so I right. uh, I stayed because I don't want staff. That's what I did. Right. But, uh, so I would rather if you're here and he serves me, then yeah. okay. Me. And if you want to bring him up, I'll give him right, my way. I mean, reason. whatever. Yeah. How you doing? Because uh, St. Mark's is like picking up. Lease the 2023 two-row Grand Cherokee Laredo 4x4 for 259 for 24 months with 52.49 due at signing. Hi, Hi. how are you? Good. Are, are you Janice? I am. Janice Kegler. Hi. Okay, and if you want to bring them up, I'll come. Hi, how are you? Good. Are, are you Janice? I am. Janice Kegler. Hi, can you, um, I'm here just to serve you with this notice, notice of intent to sue. So, and this is a, a complaint, this is the uh, a statement that you can attach for your records. Uh, can you stamp it, photocopy it, and give it back to me, Janice? You just want to stamp and copy? Yeah, because I'm filing, you know, it's, I want to have proof that I gave it to you here today, Janice, that's all.
for the record, I'm just going to say, before I forget, um, I would ask the court to uh, disregard that it's outside the scope of direct examination that constitutes hearsay. It would be a prior and consistent statement because the witness was not asked any questions relating to this specific date and event. The, uh, the court can disregard everything up until uh, our witness appears on the screen because it's hearsay based upon the prior ruling of court. With regard to the interaction with our witness, I will allow uh, to receive a question on that because it's been an agreement between counsel and the court that he has committed to then be looked at in total and then uh, subject to motions in the meeting with regard to admissibility. So with that being said, I see you can ask questions regarding her involvement with Mr. Reyes and the officer on the question. Do you want to start now? I'm not going to finish one. Well, why did you start? Okay. Uh, Ms. Geiger, you saw the, uh, the video of their interaction, and that's with uh, Sergeant Cantrabisi. Do you recall that now that you've seen the video? I recognize him. I don't know. I didn't know his name. Okay. Um, and on the video, at about 12.09, approximately 12.09 in that video. Oh, actually, you know what, Judge? Take that back. In different time frames because we, we shut up. On the video, I don't want to confuse you, man. So it's it's some point in the video, video. Specifically yes. Specifically about the video. Go ahead. Correct. Um, with respect to the video, there comes a time when Sergeant Cantor DC um, gets to you in the clerk's office, correct? Correct. And he's escorted up there by a gentleman. Do you recognize that gentleman? Yes. Is that gentleman depicted in Exhibit A, Defense Exhibit A? Yes. What's that gentleman's name? John Barney. Okay. And when the officer gets to your desk, he explains to you the purpose for Mr. Reyes being there, correct? Correct. And is that part of your official duty to accept documents, uh, that, like for example, notices and the types of documents that Mr. Reyes wanted to serve? Yes. Okay. And you were informed that that's what his intention was at that point, correct? Yes. It's affecting the listener. So, okay, I'll allow it. It's affecting the listener, but she just testified that that's yeah. what it was for. So you know why Reyes is there. And then when you're speaking with the officer, um, he tells you, doesn't he? Mr. Reyes is not violent. Yeah. He's no threat. Sustained. Sustained. This is all effect on the listener, Your Honor. Sustain. Can I ask the question then again? Uh, you just asked the question. Sustain. Ask another question. Okay. Um, and the officer told you that uh, he's a good kid, correct? Yes. Yeah, same object. Sustain. Same object. Yes. And you're offering it for the truth. I'm offering for the effect on the listener, Your Honor, to How so? I'm going to tell you. Now's a good time. On the 15th of July, 2021, Ms. Geigler Fields. Mr. Reyes coming into her office. The only thing that separates her conduct with Mr. Reyes on July 21st and June 10th, 2021 is Mr. Janusa. She has no other reason to believe there's a concern that Mr. Reyes will cause any public disturbance, will be loud or otherwise engage in conduct that's specifically outlined in the creating of public disturbance statute. So, among other things, effect on the listener, then goes to her then existing state of mind. Objection, objection is sustained. That sounds like closing argument. Mr. Your interaction with Mr. Reyes um, on the 10th included uh, him filming you, correct? Yes. Yeah. And did he have his camera at the same height on June 10th as he did on, if you can recall, as, on July 15th? I can't recall. Okay. Um, did you feel his filming as rude on the 10th of June? Yes, it's, it's not relevant. Now, it's not, the behavior that day does not go to the conduct which resulted in the arrest and the charges. Okay. In the video, So drawing your attention to the uh, July 15th 
2021 date when uh, you're in the office with Mr. Reyes. Uh, did, you, did, you, did you have any impression, Mr. Reyes, on the day that he entered your office that it concerned you with respect to him creating a public disturbance? Objection relevance. As opposed to the ultimate issue, which he thinks is not relevant. But well, I think whether he violated the statute is relevant. And I always agree with you. Great, so it's the same. Um, when he came into the office on the 21st, um, you prevented him from coming further into the foyer than where he wanted to go, correct? The, the, the 21st? Did you July 15th? I'm sorry, I keep doing I apologize. Okay. I apologize to the witness and to, to my friend Russell. July 15th, 2021. Yes. July 15th, 2021. Comes a time where you stop him and Phil stops him from going further into your office, correct? Correct. And your testimony is that's because you wanted to prevent him from filming over the counter, correct? Then go on there. Okay. He didn't belong no. in the clerk's office on July 15th, 2021. He didn't belong there, what, because you just don't like to be filmed? Objection on your I'm going to allow it. No, he wasn't there because he didn't sign in and he didn't have a pass. But he you didn't have a purpose. Okay, but you never, you never told him, sir, leave, you don't have a pass, correct? Objection. It's a compound okay. question. Overruled. You never told him, Mr. Reyes, leave, you don't have a pass. He's very repetitive talking. That may be, so am I. But on that day, on the 15th of July, 2021, you didn't tell Mr. Reyes, hey, leave, you sir, you don't have a pass, correct? No, the pass, but I asked him why, why he was there. Let's get to the pass first. Did you, yes or no, tell Mr. Reyes you have to leave because you don't have a pass? Thank you. Okay. Did you tell Mr. Reyes on July 15th, 2021, you have to leave, Mr. Reyes. You don't belong here because you didn't sign in downstairs. Did you tell him that? No. And you didn't tell Mr. Reyes, hey, if you have a problem with what's going on in my office, just go talk to the city attorney, correct? No. That's what the policy says, right? I can do that, yes. Okay. Uh, you chose not to do that. Objection, Over. You chose not to abide by that portion of the policy to simply direct Mr. Reyes' attention or questioning to the city attorney, correct? No, I did You did not do that. I, I don't want to muddle up the record. I don't want to be disrespectful if there's a pending objection. What is the objection? I'm going over. Okay. And even though you had an opportunity to do that, you chose to get online, on board with Phil, and block Mr. Reyes' camera with your hands, correct? Objection to the form of the question. Over. Mm -hmm. you, didn't, you didn't say, hey, go talk to the city attorney. You didn't say, sir, you know, uh, there are other ways we could handle this. You just simply joined in with Phil, put your hand next to Phil's hand in front of his camera, preventing him from getting closer to the counter over which the policy says he cannot film in. True or false? False. That's false? Mm -hmm. Fair enough. And what about, what about blocking Mr. Reyes? Did you stand in front of him? I did. Okay. And the purpose of that was because he didn't belong there? Correct. Well, doesn't the policy say members of the public can come into a foyer? He didn't have a pass. He didn't have... And the question is whether or not the policy says you can come into a foyer. That's his question. Yeah. He's allowed to film in foyers according, not to you and your opinion of whether he belongs there, but because the policy says I can film in a foyer, correct? Okay. Okay, so he belonged there filming in the foyer, you would agree, correct? In different circumstances, yes. Okay. And, and, but on the day in question, on July 15th, 2021, where he's standing in a foyer where the policy says he can be filming, you choose to block his movement with Phil Janus of the security guard 
and join Phil in blocking his camera lens. Correct? We don't object. If that wasn't the testimony, you were mischaracterizing the testimony from the uh, I'm going to sustain the objection, but also that question, I have the answer to that question. You have the answer to that question. She's answered that question. Okay. And there came a time when, when you spoke with Officer Farrell, the arresting officer on July 15, 2021. You recall that? No. So you don't ever remember discussing your concerns about Mr. Reyes coming into your office with any police officers the day this happened? Well, let's go, let's go to that part then. Mr. Farrell's out in the hallway. Mr. Farrell's there. So he's Mr. arresting Mr. Farrell, an officer? Yes, he is. Yes. Officer Farrell? Yes, Officer Farrell. So they person versus police. I mean, so it's just an officer. I just, I apologize, Jeff. No disrespect. Okay. I'm just using the witnesses. So I got it. So, so it's, it's actually Officer Farrell. I don't know if he's a sergeant or not, but I think it's at least Officer Farrell. He had a uniform on. Mm -hmm. And he talked to you and Mr. Pinter about what was going on between you and Mr. Reyes, correct? Objection. Just asking if he, she had that conversation. That's not what you asked. Did you have a conversation at that point with those two individuals? And the video shows I was standing with them. She's asking me if you had a conversation with them at that, at that point. No. You didn't, you didn't talk with Officer Farrell on the 15th of July, 2021? No. Okay. I'm not going to finish up yet, but I might have like 15 minutes more. Okay, minutes. so we will, we will uh, uh, cease for today. It's a little over. I appreciate everyone's patience. So, tomorrow we will resume again with you on cross examination there, uh, and, and then uh, proceed onward from that point. Uh, I'd ask uh, Attorney Zander to have his next witness ready uh, to go immediately thereafter. He was here earlier. I just, you know, to keep continuity with Attorney Zander in case he does not have much longer. Uh, we stand at recess tomorrow. I'll see counsel at 2. Get to start at 2.15. All rise. Court now adjourned. If the document's not there, the prosecution is unfair. Okay. You and Johnny Cochran will go down in TV history.